Minister needs to explain it. I call the Honourable Jackie Dean. <laughs> And I'd, I'd like my contribution to follow on from my colleagues who have raised very real issues around the winter energy payment. And I'm glad that uh, the Minister in the Chair, uh, Honourable Stuart Nash, is still there. Uh, I just want to clarify firstly something that he said and, and am interested in his answer. In his intervention three or four speeches ago, he noted that the payment would, uh, the heat pump would go on in about May and, and the uh, energy payment would last for six months. So I would just like the Minister to take a call in due course to confirm whether it is, in his words, six months or whether or not it is uh, the 22 weeks as it is noted in the bill itself. So some clarification around that because I think, I think by the Minister by saying six months just adds to the confusion that people who are eligible, which is most people, uh, because it's an untargeted, um, it's an untargeted benefit, uh, most people who are on a super payment or, or on a, a benefit payment are to, to which they're entitled. So I'd, I'd like clarification on that for those people. I'd like also to question and in the spirit of wanting to help the new government to craft a decent piece of, of legislation, I'd also like to suggest a slight change, which in my humble view will make this uh, payment uh, more useful to those people to whom it applies. And that is by way of my SOP, uh, which seeks to replace all, all, all references of winter to eligible. And the reason I'm suggesting taking winter out and, and inserting eligible in its place is, is to propose that in places like, say, Alexandra, where winter temperatures indeed uh, drop to quite low levels, well, uh, as night follows day, as summer follows winter, in the summer it gets piercingly hot. And so the temperature can rise to mid-30s, high 30s on day after day after day. And I'm sure I've got colleagues on my side who represent different parts of New Zealand who will, uh, who will also wish to comment on, on this o SOP that I've introduced and uh, the benefits and the improvements I hope to make to this payment by way of it. So let's uh, think about somebody on National Super in Alexandra and it's a fiercely hot summer afternoon in early February and will probably continue that way uh, with high temperatures all the way through to around April to when winter comes and suddenly it's cold. And you think about a frail elderly person in a small uh, council flat or in a, in, the, in a small home, it gets so hot. And just as the cold has a bad impact on older folks' health, so does the heat. So why then, and I'd really like uh, an answer here from the Minister on behalf of his government, why does, this, is, why does this winter energy payment only relate to winter? What is it about being cold that is so much more uh, detrimental to health than overheating? Because I can assure the Minister, in places like Alexandra, in places like Northland, in places like Gisborne, all around New Zealand, uh, older folk, people on benefits, suffer in the heat as much as they do in the cold. And I don't accept that winter power bills are any greater than summer power bills in those parts of New Zealand, because I know for a fact that when the, winter does when the weather rather does climb um, above uh, 35 degrees, the heat pumps go on, the fans go on, and they are burning day and night and day and night, and the power, ball, power balls go through the roof. So that is my suggestion. That is my suggestion to the House, and I know that there are many, many of my colleagues who have read this SOP and will take the opportunity to express their concerns around their part of New Zealand, and I know the House needs to hear these concerns, because I don't think winter, uh, I don't think a winter energy payment is good enough. I think it needs to be taken out, replaced with an energy payout that uh, satisfies the needs of those people to whom it seeks to assist, 
and I'd like to see that happen by way Madam of my Chair, SOP. Madam Chair, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I call the Honourable. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll call Stuart, Honourable Stuart Nash. Thank you very much. Didn't hear That's okay. I should have shouted out. A couple of points I'd like to make.